Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleanor Nikivathar and I'm going to do a review today of Guards Guards by Terry Pratchett. This is going to have no spoilers in it because I want to encourage you all to pick up the Discworld series. It was my It's my aim in 2021 to read at least one Discworld novel a month so that by the end of the year I'll have read at least 12 of them um, to continue on my way to completing the whole of the Discworld um, all the books. I think there's like 40, 42 of them or something like that. Guards Guards is book number eight and it's the first book in the Discworld series that introduces the character of Captain Vines of the City Watch. This is a character that crops up throughout later. This is a character that crops up through subsequent Discworld novels um, and it was interesting to see him appear in this kind of beginning stage of the, of the world. Um, he's very particular type of character and you see how much growth and development he has if you've read any of the later Discworld novels you see how much he grows and changes and that's really nice to see. Guards Guards is the first kind of book about City Watch as I'd said and um, the plot of this book centres around dragons which is really exciting. I love any fantasy book that has a dragon in it. Um, they're always improved by dragons and Terry Pratchett's way of writing dragons is completely Terry Pratchett. And to kind of sum up what this book is, it's there's a dragon and the City Watch are trying to get rid of the dragon, try and solve the problem with the dragon. It's a bit of a mystery and a puzzle. We're trying to work out where the dragon came from. Um, all the while the City Watch is kind of bumbling around um, Ankhamor Pork and causing chaos. In usual Terry Pratchett fashion, um, it is very, very British humour. There's lots and lots of stereotypes and the stereotypes mostly focus around like police and military and kind of political structures. It's very much satirical and poking fun at things and the trope that police and military were supposed to run headlong into all the danger and all the bad things going on so that they can solve the problem and be first on the scene. But that's not what the City Watch is. The City Watch are actually a bit of a joke in the Discworld in Ankh Pork and they're not really taken seriously and it's kind of like a fake job, fake job and doesn't really fulfill any actual purpose except in this book where they do. So I quite like the character of Captain Vines. Um, he's the stereotype of a kind of police officer. He's um, an alcoholic and doesn't really like doing his job but he's very proud of his job at the same time and his fellow kind of night watch people are kind of in this together and are very much bad at their job but in a way that is so ridiculous to witness and it's just good fun. I feel like that's what you can sum up to say in this world books. Um, there's lots and lots of different ways to start reading this world series. You can just start from book one and read through in publication order but a lot of people wouldn't recommend that because Terry Pratchett's first couple of books aren't the best books. He gets a better writer as he goes along which you'd obviously expect a lot of people say to pick up one or two of the standalone novels or to start with one of the series. So that's usually like the Death series or the Witches series or like Tiffany Aching series or the City Guards series. And I think this is an excellent place to start. It introduces a lot of characters that are reoccurring in this world and I think that's great. My favourite character that seems to be popping up in the last couple of Discord books I've read is the librarian um, from the Unseen University. He is an orangutan um, just due to a spell accident. I don't know if it's ever covered in the series but he's always been an orangutan and he's like one of the best characters. He takes no nonsense and he just really looks after and loves his library which I can really appreciate. It seems like in his own kind of funny way Terry Pratchett makes fun of everything in real life in his Discworld except libraries. He has a real kind of soft spot and passion for libraries and books and they're always de um, treated very well which is quite funny. Everything's just very tongue-in-cheek and it's just a great time and I just wanted to share one of my favourite quotes from this book and it was a good bookshop is just a genteel black hole that knows how to read and I thought that was quite fun. So yeah this was a very very short review more like a recommendation and um, just I really want to encourage people to pick up the Discworld books. Um, 
they're just good fun and if you love British humour, if you love a good laugh, um, don't take things too seriously and like a wind up, um, these are great fantasy books and they're not anything earth shattering but that's what makes them so perfect. Um, Terry Pratchett is a brilliant writer and really crafts in kind of real world scenarios and situations but it does it in a fantasy way so you don't even realise what you're learning and things like that and I think it's just done really well. So yeah, I really enjoyed Guards Guards and yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let me know if you've read any Terry Pratchett books or if you're interested in reading any Terry Pratchett books. I'm really enjoying continuing on reading as many of them as possible and yeah, I'm excited to say one day that I will have read all of the books. Um, maybe that can happen in the next couple of years if I stick to reading one a month. Um, so thank you for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe if you aren't already. Um, I do see in my statistics that the majority of people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you do see yourself coming back to my videos again and again, just subscribe. It would be easier and it would really help me out. Um, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.